Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to make your Fire TV 4K run faster and better. Stay tuned, I'm going to show you what this is all about. Okay guys, before I get started in this video, if you guys find this video or any of my other videos helpful, please go down and drop me a thumbs up down below. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys click that subscribe button and ring the bell icon to get notified of all future and new videos. Now, you guys probably clicked this video because you're wondering how to speed up your Fire TV Stick 4K. The Fire TV Stick 4K is one of the most popular devices out there to run Android APKs, Kodi, etc, etc. But the one thing is, um, it's not as powerful as the Nvidia Shield, Xiaomi Mi Box, or the, or the BT Ultimate, which have more RAM and more storage. The Fire TV Stick 4K is limited in resources, but with the proper tools to monitor and run it, you will, your Fire TV Stick will run smoother and better than ever. Now, the app I'm currently in is the developer app. By default, your Fire TV Stick will not have it, but if you search for developer tools menu shortcut, you will actually get the app installed. So for example, I'm going to go to the top here. Let's say, for example, I don't have the app installed. I'm going to go to the search. I'm going to search for it. Developer tools menu. So I've searched for it. I can go ahead and install it from here. So uh, once you're inside the developer tools menu, I'm going to go to the first button right here. Now, the system x-ray is the information at the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to leave this running to show you uh, throughout the video how everything is being processed and how everything is working. The first thing in the corner is going to show you the current um, display information. So at 1080p at 60 frames per second. The next box is the CPU usage. The Amazon Fire TV Stick does have 4K and is currently showing you the current CPU usage for all four cores. The next one is the current memory or RAM usage. The blue one is the current app that's open. Uh, and you currently only have, on my Fire TV Stick 4K, I only have 260 megabytes of RAM free. But I do have about 1.1 gigs of RAM that's currently being allocated to other things. And I'm going to show you how you can fix that. Now, the next section is going to be in regards to your network um, signal strength. So the RSSI is your actual signal speed. So the basically level lower the negative number the, the better. So right now it's like negative 68. If I go to for example like negative 40, negative 30, you'll see the bar will go up even more. So the lower the number the better for uh, Wi-Fi and then of course you have your upload and download. And on the far right hand side, it's actually your remote battery health. So if you guys are wondering if you have um, how much battery you have left in your remote, you can figure it out by using the system x-ray button here. Now inside of here you do have a lot of other features. If you click on a launch configuration panel, let's say for example you don't you don't care about the your remote. So I'm gonna go ahead and disable that. And now I can't see my remote health anymore. Let's say for example I don't care my network speed. I'll disable network and that's disappeared. So basically it's really cool to kind of enable and disable what you want to see and what you want to do see. And of course you can also move the actual information in specific parts of the video. So wherever you want it to show you as much information as possible. Now let's go back here. Now basically by default each of these shortcuts is actually a shortcut to an application. Which means once I launch developer tools menu if I click on it if I, without the developer tools menu application I won't actually have access to it. Once I go out and click on File Explorer, it'll ask you to install the application if you guys don't have it. Now, File Explorer is a really great files app. Of course, if you click on it and it's going to say to install an application, go ahead and install it. I really like going to File Explorer to removing anything that you haven't that you don't need. A really common one where space gets um, basically a lot of things gets used and a lot of space gets used is the download folder. Make sure there's no APKs here or no big files. So as you guys can see, if I go to file linked here, it's going to show us blank. That's why in every single file linked video, 
I actually tell you guys to delete all the installers so it won't store on your device. Um, other than that, basically kind of, you know, look through it. Look for um, any any weird uh, or large files. So this is a file link APK file. I don't need it. I can go ahead and delete it. Press and hold. Delete. Because you don't need the actual APK installer. What you need is make sure it's installed and that's good to go. So let's go back here. So there's nothing else here that looked out of the ordinary. Let's see if there's any large files in here. Basically browse through it and make sure you've cleaned up as much big files as possible. And that's basically to clear up storage on your device. Now, if I click on list background apps and processes, again, if you don't have the actual add-on installed, once you click on it, it'll actually tell you to install it. So currently, without even me knowing, I actually have 16 apps open in the background. Even though they're not running, they're actually consuming RAM. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on close all apps in the top left corner. Now, this is not going to actually close everything, but it'll take you to that shortcut where you can actually stop it. So I'm going to go here and force stop all my apps. Once I click on it, I'm going to click back. File Explorer, I want to keep that running. Mouse toggle, I want to keep that running. Click. So every time you close an app, click back. So this one, I don't want it. Force stop. Click back. Next player, I don't want it right now, so I'm going to click for stop, click back, file linked, for stop, click back, CK, for stop, click back. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking on for stop on each application and then clicking on the back key on my keyboard to go to the next app chicken. So like browser, I don't need it as well, for stop, click back, Netflix, for stop, click back. So now you see I only have eight apps open in the background. So it didn't actually close everything. So I'm going to go ahead and manually, for example, downloader, click on it, for stop, click back, YouTube, I don't want it, for stop, click back, BTV, for stop, click back, IP vanish, for stop, click back, Eva TV, for stop, click back. Now, basically, you don't have those apps running in the background. Now, you might not instantly see the RAM free up right now, but eventually, you should get more storage. So, see how I was using before 1.1 gigs of accumulated RAM? Now, it's only 1 gig of RAM. Of course, you can't get it all the way down to zero because that's how the Fire TV Stick works. You need the actual software running in the background. The Wi-Fi is turned on in the background. Um, it's searching for updates constantly. Like right now, if I go ahead and turn Wi-Fi off, I turn off the Fire Developer apps. Like let's go ahead, for example, we'll close File Explorer. Right. Let's close Mouse Toggle. So the more apps you close, you will eventually get more free space. So see, right now I I'm at the 970 megabytes I've used, and now I have almost 280 megabytes of free space. So the more you close apps the more that you don't have them running in the background. So guys, now I'm gonna go to App List Manager. Now App List Manager is basically just a quick way to give you every single app that's installed on your device. This is a great way to see everything kinda in one stream. So, see how I'm currently using up 2.6 gigs out of 5.2 available space. I only have 49% free. So basically what, what's the good time now is to go, to go through and clear the apps I don't wanna use. For example, um, I don't want to use CKTV, I click on it, then click on uninstall, click on uninstall. Because every single app that you don't use, it's taking up space. So the Fire TV Stick space is limited, so you should always uninstall the app that you don't need. For example, uh, SimHD, click on it, click on uninstall, uninstall, and again, you won't see the actual results instantly, but as you clear stuff, right, you'll see that you, again, only uninstall the app that you don't use. It doesn't matter, let's say if you have only 10% of free space left. If let's say you watch these movie APKs and you need them, don't uninstall it. Only uninstall it if you don't use the actual application. So, I'm going to go back to Apple's Manager, and eventually the storage will update. Again, it's not instant, but it will take time. And that's basically it in regards to the, all the applications in this device. There's actually a lot of other um, applications here. For example, if you go to um, test net speed, 
and it'll actually go ahead and install an application to test, test your current Wi-Fi connection speeds. Now, let's say you guys went ahead and did all this, right? And you guys are wondering, hmm, I don't really need everything here right now. And you want to start uninstalling stuff. Feel free to go back to App Info Manager and actually start, for example, let's say you don't want to use File Explorer anymore. Let's say you don't want to use uh, the background app anymore or the test speed net. Go ahead and start uninstalling it. So I can do this. Uninstall and uninstall. And basically you can keep on uninstalling and now for example if I go and see without doing anything I'm now at about 341 megabytes free. I probably still have some apps open so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into my apps because the more apps you close that you don't use the more free memory you have. So I know the last one was the background apps info Actually, if you wait a little bit, I should probably get my available RAM to about 400. There you go, 400 megabytes, 417 megabytes. So restarting is one of the best ways to clear everything because it force clears everything out of your RAM, and you will get the best interface and you will get the best experience if you always restart your Fire TV Stick every now and then by force pressing down the play pause button and the middle OK button for D-pad for about five seconds, and then it'll go ahead and reboot. Because see right now I have 400 megabytes, which is fantastic. Now smooth sale on your Fire TV Stick with absolutely no issues. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, or comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if this video is helpful. Follow me on Twitter, practice social distancing, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye-bye.